Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to brush plate. I had a customer requested to see on how to brush plate some parts. I have actually two liquids here. This one is for immersion plating or back plating. That one is for brush plating. I have another one. This one is a cyanide based brush plating. Um, there is a different process on different uh, kinds of metal. Uh, for example, if you play it in on a stainless steel, you have to use first a stainless steel activator and then um, gold plate. If you use in any parts that it's chrome plated, then it's a three-step process. You first use chrome stripper to strip the chrome from the part, rinse it, then apply the nickel activator, rinse it, and then gold plate. Now, on this video, I'm just gonna show you how the, how it's done. I have the, these two coins. Uh, one, it's the, as I said, the, that one, it's a brush plating gold here. This one, it's a liquid gold for immersion plating. Now, for brush plating, you just got, I'm using just a small plating kit that we have. Um, it's, a, it's about a couple amps, but it's called Maxim Mini 2. I set up the voltage already. This gold that uses about um, between four and six volt. Um, this one uses uh, about um, five to eight volts. So what you need to do, you connect your negative wire to the coin and um, put your plating anode in the liquid and then you're gonna start rubbing it in a circular motion. Uh, when you start rubbing it, then the gold is just gonna bond um, to the coin. As you can see it, it's already started to bond. This is how usually the brush plating gets done. Be sure that every part that you plate, um, it's clean, it's polished, has a mirror shine, and then gold plated. Of course, I, I haven't cleaned these coins, I'm just, uh, um, want to show customers how to do it um, but this is basically how the brush plating is done you can remove the uh, alligator clip to another position so you can do the other part the other section that it's not it was covered by the alligator clip uh, that, this is this is what the brush plating is now um, these coins are not clean as you can see it, it's got some mark. Um, before you do it, be sure it's polished and it's got a really um, mirror shine to it. Hopefully you can see this. Now, you uh, you can play this on aluminum. If anybody has aluminum, aluminum has a different process um, to plate on it. You have to zincate it, um, then copper and nic nic nickel plate, and then um, you gold plate. Yeah, this is this is the brush. Now. I'm gonna do the same thing, but as a back plating. This is a back plating solution. So I'm just gonna put my voltage on eight. As I said, you can use between uh, five to eight volts. Now, back plating, you know, you don't need this. You just need a tip of the anode. You, once again, you connect your coin, this coin, um, this is the coin, you connect it to the negative with alligator clip, dip it inside of the solution, gold solution. At the same time, you put the tip of the anode in a solution. Uh, if you see, it started bubbling. You leave it like 15, 20 seconds, pull it out and check it out to see if it's bound. If it's bonded, you're all set, you're done. Um, 
it's got a little sh um, from the light as a shade but this is already uh, plated um, don't leave too long I had a customer that um, called me and told me that um, the, the coin that he was plating it's really really dark color it's like dark grayish color what he did he left it too long in a gold gold solution and burned it that's that's what happened he had it like a over a minute um, but as soon as it's um, gold gold bonds to your part you pull it out what I do usually I leave it as I said like 15 20 seconds after 20 seconds I pull it out I check it out if it's done I'm all set if it's not I leave another five seconds now when you remove this usually the gold bonds where the alligator clip is if it's not you just turn it over in another location and just dip that section in there and then pull it out we're going to make a um, video on um, brush plating on how to of uh, like a faucet really large parts or something but i hope this is going to help uh, some people that they trying to uh, brush or back plate as i said this is a small plating kit this is about two amps um you can use the same process with even the larger kits we have um the only different on the larger ones which have a higher amperage is that you can do much larger parts for example if you can do you do like um, jewelry coins watches stuff like that you can use this kit if you're doing something like like car rims um, emblems that it's on a car actually you can do car emblems with this kit um, if you're doing like bumpers grills uh, we, then you need to go to 25 to 30 amp kit Thank you for watching.